Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Today is going to be a serious video. Florida is under attack. And not just Florida. All animal keepers are under attack. And we need to wake up. Reptile keepers, exotic animal keepers, we have to wake up. We have to become united. I get it. I get it. I don't like him. I don't like her. Let's expose them and let's show the world that we don't like them. It has to stop. We have to be united because there are groups that are coming after us that are united. PETA doesn't have infighting. The FWC doesn't have infighting. They are focused and they are united and they are winning. Florida is going to fall. Florida is going to fall. They are attacking Florida reptile keepers and nobody's batting an eye. And it worries me because if Florida falls, other states is, go is, is going to follow suit. And let's talk about it. Right now in Congress, they are trying to introduce a law to ban all iguanas. Now, if you understand what's going on in Florida right now, you understand that they have banned green iguanas. They've banned them. They said they're invasive. You can't keep them. If you see them, kill them. That's how Florida feels. But what's crazy is now they're going after all iguanas. They want to ban all of them. Rhino iguanas, rock iguanas, spiny tail iguanas, green iguanas. They do not want iguanas in Florida. Now, how insane is this? Because this isn't just going to hurt pet keepers. This is going to hurt the breeders. Shout out to Tom Crutchfield. He's in Florida. I don't know if he breeds rock iguanas, but if this law passes, there is no more breeding rock iguanas. You can keep the ones you got, but you'll never get another one. You'll never be able to get one from a breeder, and you'll never be able to go to a pet store in Florida and see a rhino iguana. But here's the kicker. It gets even crazier. There's words in the bill that they are going after cats and dogs as well they don't want you to be able to buy a cat or a dog at a pet store anymore PETA and the FWC aren't messing around they have millions and millions and millions of dollars and they're using their money to get these lawmakers on their side to help them ban our animals it's not just going to stop with the reptile hobby. It's going to be fish. It's going to be cats and dogs, reptiles. If you keep an exotic animal, really, if you keep any animal, they are coming for you. And that worries me. I have a, a, a bunch of animals. I love them. But I still go to the pet store. Imagine if they banned all snakes. Let's go. Let's go back to Florida for a second. Who's to say that they're going to stop at iguanas? They ban Burmese pythons, right? Who's to say the government down there just doesn't sit? You know what? We ban Burmese pythons. Let's just ban all snakes to just get rid of the problem. Could you imagine that? You'll be able to keep the ones you got, but you'll never be able to buy another snake. That would break my heart. Because I'm in the hobby and I wanted to introduce my son to the reptile hobby. And don't get me wrong, I have amazing snakes at my house. But I still love going to the pet store and just checking out what they got. Could you imagine if the FWC said, you know what? We don't like Burmese. Let's just ban ball pythons, corn snakes, hog noses. Let's just ban them all. This is insane. We need to wake up. And we need to come together and support USARC. 
because we are under attack. And if you're in Florida, you better wake up. You better wake up. I am definitely worried about Florida. And I'm going to show this bill because, like I said, I don't want to misquote it. But I'm going to show it right quick to where you guys can read it as well. I showed it earlier in the video. But let's go over it one more time. Understand how this is going to this is going to rock the hobby. I mean, and, and, and it's they're doing it right under our noses. It's like each year they try to push through more stuff. PETA influence, the FWC influence is insane. And if you are an exotic animal keeper, you need to be worried. Right now is the time to fight for our rights. I'm Derek, and I appreciate you guys for watching.